So the first thing you gotta really remember about anatomy is gesture. Gesture is the backbone of any sort of anat anatomical drawing. You should be able to capture the feel of a figure in under a minute, like 30 seconds I'm talking. Like, so, like, if I'm gonna draw a figure, then I have the arm, the spine, the arms, and the legs. Like, you can already tell, like, how this person is posed. My teacher, Dave Pimentel, um, another storyboard artist at DreamWorks, he refers it, or Carl Nass, uh, Carl Nass is also a, a good instructor, too. They refer to it as capturing the spirit of the pose. And that's what gesture is. Every artist has their own unique way of doing gesture. Um, I'll break down like very slowly the way that I do mine, but really just to learn how to do gesture properly, I would really suggest just going to uh, I would really suggest like paying like fifteen dollars. Most cities have them will be a live nude figure drawing session and just try doing it thirty seconds, thirty seconds, thirty seconds, thirty seconds, and you'll naturally develop what's easiest for you. So let's say I'm drawing a figure. I'm going to start off with, me personally, I'm going to start off with the spine because for me, the spine is what carries the most movement. Your line quality does not have to matter at all when you're doing gesture. So I'm going to start off with the spine. And then the next thing for me that carries the most power are your legs. because so your legs are what actually carries the weight of your body while you're, while you're uh, standing. So I'm going to draw lines that represent the legs. And then the arms are actually small, so they don't carry much weight on the actual pose. It's actually the neck. The neck co combines with the spine in order, to form, in order to form the overall flow of the body. So as you can see, there's like almost like this line that's forming here that traces down. This is the way the, the figure is applying weight onto the ground. And that is the spirit of the pose, basically. Like, how you feel weight. And then I add the arms in. To just balance it all out. Yes, the Pixel Lovely, um, the Pixel Lovely figure drawing tool is pretty good, but um, I actually have another one that I like better because it's it's more academic and they take each pose from different angles, um, and it's less like there's less like lighting weirdness, like because Pixel Lovely takes pictures from like DeviantArt and stock photos and stuff, where it's more about the actual photography than about the actual like anatomy of the model, so. I use this posespace.com website, which looks like it was made in the 90s, but I believe that like the assortment of poses there is easier to draw from. Um, like posespace.com, it's just um, I just find that its assortment is more of what I can use to make my own pictures rather than copying a picture of a model that someone set in front of me. But again, I can't stress more, you have to, have to, have to go to live nude figure drawing. Because when you have the photo, all the perspective has been done for you already. But when you go to a live session, every time you look up, your head moves. So your horizon line has moved, so you need to figure out everything again. Um, one of the ways that like my teacher Kevin Chen uh, told us about gesture is to imagine it as if the character is wearing a skirt, like a really long skirt. Does this, st does this still look like it could still hold the weight of the figure? Like draw the line of the weight and where it's contacting the floor. Um, I 
I think like like one of the best ways to like figure out like how your gesture is gonna work is go to one of those figure drawing sessions, give yourself 30 seconds, and be like, oh man, I need to get the entire pose down with as few strokes as possible. And then like with as little time as possible with as few strokes as possible, then you can really, um, you can really get more uh, feeling out of it.